What's up, guys? Guess who's been strolling through Reddit again? Yeah, that's right. It's becoming my second home. I'm pretty much addicted to Reddit as much as I am sim racing at this point, and I appreciate the sim racing community on Reddit for all the help and information I've been able to obtain just from every little detail and learning what things I need to go with next. Uh, basically, when I have a question and throw it out there, you guys are great at helping me out. So I want to pass along some of the knowledge I've got. Uh, in this case, I've seen a lot of people asking about the Butt Kicker Gamer 2 or other base shakers. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to talk about particularly the Butt Kicker Gamer 2 because that's what I have right now. Uh, and then kind of talk about how I've set it up in other ways that it can be set up. I know people have asked about for game systems versus PC. Um, for those of you using a game system, you're fairly limited in that you kind of just split off your audio and run it off of that. You don't really get as much fine tuning as you do with a PC. That's one of the reasons I chose to upgrade to the PC. My last sim rig was on a PS4 and I couldn't do triple screens. I couldn't, there just wasn't enough pieces to it where I could have all the things that I wanted. Um, so I went to the PC, I started from scratch. So I'm not at the level that I plan on getting to. This is kind of like version 2.0 probably going to get to version 4.0 or 5.0 before I'm happy with it. Um, but one of the things I am definitely happy with is the Butt Kicker Gamer 2. It's added a lot of immersion to my racing. Um, I'll talk about how the software works on the PC to help you adapt it to what you need from it to give you the feedback you need. Um, first, I'll talk about how I've hooked it up. So my butt kicker gamer 2 is plugged directly into my pc sound card uh and my audio for any gaming or anything i do either comes from my headphones or it's split off of my monitor which runs hdmi from the computer so i can run my audio through it it helps me separate them and that gives me the ability to fine tune the butt kicker exactly the way i need it or want to use it through my video card without having to worry about interfering with my other audio or splitting it off and yeah it, i just wanted it separate i wanted it clean um there's other ways you can use it but i will show you basically how i've set it up and show you the setup at the end of the video but first i'm going to walk you through the software you'll need uh just a disclaimer i'm using sim hub you can use sim vibe um I'm sure there's other ways you can set it up too. I'm not saying mine is the best way, but it's definitely free software that works great. Um, I'm happy enough with SimHub that I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the license for it. It's just something I've been testing out to decide if that's the system I wanna use. Uh, it's definitely between being able to use the dashboard and being able to use the audio functions and the details on it, uh, it's worth it. Definitely SimHub is worth having. Uh, so let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys and I'll explain the software setup side of the Butt Kicker 2. All right, so right now, this is the main screen you'll see when you open SimHub. Uh, you can choose whichever game you're planning on playing and it shows you every game that it's adapted to. I don't have nearly this many games, but I do use it for a few of these, particularly iRacing. Um, one little side note, you'll see this Dash Studio here. You can link in to your tablet or another screen. A full dashboard with map. Uh, they're completely editable. Uh, and while I'm racing, I love using my mo or my tablet to have my map open and be able to see where other cars are on the track. And it just it helps me 
with being able to see the overall of what's going on with my car. Uh, you get your telemetry, your, you can add extra buttons for record or whatever you need. Uh, I haven't gotten too into detail with programming my own dashboards or building them, but you definitely can do more editing or design from scratch to whatever you want. Um, I've found that the uh, mobile dashboard works just fine for me, so that's typically what I stick to. But then below that, you'll see uh, Shake It Base Shakers. So this is where I tune my butt kicker to work off of my sound card. So you'll see up here, we've got sound output. I've selected the sound card on the PC as my output for my butt kicker. And in effects profile, you can fine tune just about every detail of feedback. Um, most important to me is being able to feel the braking. Uh, I like to know the intensity of the braking. Uh, granted, with the pedals I have now with a uh, load cell, it's not quite as important. I haven't adapted it since I got load cell pedals. But when I had uh, the T3 PAs and the pedal was just a sponge that I couldn't feel, uh, that was a lot of help. But still, one of the biggest things about it is being able to feel my wheel slip. Uh, so when I'm going around the corner, I get a lot of feedback from the butt kicker. And when I feel that feedback cut out, I can feel that my wheels are slipping and it gives me time to react or know that I'm going into the corner too fast. Uh, you'll notice I've got that turned all the way up to 92 because my biggest thing is not spinning out or losing control of my car and affecting other people on the track. The remainder of my feedback is pretty light. Uh, I gear grinding, I get a little intense and miss my gears every now and then, so I like to have that feedback. And gear shifting, I just like the way it feels. It really isn't absolutely necessary to have it up that high, but I like a good kick in the seat when I shift gears. And then there's plenty of other options I could activate. This is just what I've gotten to so far in the settings. And honestly, I've been so focused on my racing that I haven't taken the time to fine tune it any further than this. Um, definitely could go a lot further into it. Just haven't got there yet. But anyways, so running your butt kicker off of this system or off of this software will give you that ability to edit and play with each of the effects. And then one thing I want to note as far as setting it up, when you're running off of different sound cards, whether you choose to use the USB run off your monitor, however you split up your sound, one of the big things you'll need to do is go into your app advanced sound options with the app volume and device preferences. And you'll see here, my master volume is set through my LG monitor, uh, or I can change it to my USB when I'm wanting to use my headphones. But consistently, regardless of what I choose to use, my SIM hub runs through my main sound card so that I get my feedback through the butt kicker the way I need it. So it's really important that when you set this up, you go in and dedicate your, whichever sound card you're using for the butt kicker to SIM hub. Otherwise you'll get into the game and you will not feel any of the effects from it. So with that being said, uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys what everything looks like hooked up. Uh, kind of how I've set it up. I started out with the Gamer 2 attached to my sim rig on the frame. I tried it on the left side, I tried it on the right away from the shifter. I eventually went to the back of the rig with it um, just because I didn't have a mount under my seat. And I knew for the feedback I was getting that mounting it under the seat with a single butt kicker was gonna have the best effect that I could get from it. So ultimately I ended up modifying the seat. I've already made a video about how I how I basically tore open the seat, drilled some holes. Uh, 
I know a lot of people I've seen that have been looking into the butt kicker have a like Sparco seat or something much nicer that probably doesn't have a wood base under it, something you wouldn't want to tear open. Um, the one idea I have for you guys to try to center a post under your seat would be to run cross beams from, you have four bolts usually holding your seat on. And I was thinking maybe if you ran a cross beam from one bolt to the other in the front and the back, you might be able to center a post down below. I don't know how that would work, how much it would absorb the feedback. It was the first idea I had for the seat before I realized that I could just drill through the wood and bolt it on. Uh, so it might be something for you guys to try if you're looking to center it and for whatever reason don't have a proper Gamer 2 mount on your sim rig somewhere. Uh, but like I said, I can't promise what that's going to do if it's going to have the right effect for you. So take that with a grain of salt and consider it. And if you feel like it might work, give it a try. If it does, let me know. I'm sure there's tons of other people that would love to know too. Maybe make a video about it, share it with the Reddit community. We definitely appreciate anything we can get. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys around the rig. All right, guys. Down under the seat here, you'll see the Butt Kicker Gamer 2 center mounted. Like I said, I drilled a few holes and bolted a pipe down under there so I would have a nice planted center feedback for the butt kicker. Um, it's worked fantastic so far. I absolutely love this setup. And back here, you can see the amp for the butt kicker. Like I said, the audio for this runs directly into the sound card on my PC down here. And right here, I've got my control button to power it on and control the intensity. I found that I don't really need to make many adjustments on the amp using the SIM hub. Um, outside of that, there's not much else to it. Back here, we've got my audio running out of my monitor so that I'm separate. Um, that's pretty much all there is to setting this thing up. If, if you have a console, then you just use an audio splitter and run your console audio into whatever audio device you're using and split it to this as well. You can also use outputs from your TV to run into your butt kicker gamer too. All right, guys, so you saw the butt kicker setup and you saw the software I'm using. If you guys still have questions, make sure you leave me comments down below. Let me know. I'm always happy to answer any questions you guys have. I want to say thank you to those who have subscribed to the channel already. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys soon with another video.